A long time had passed since God created the earth, which he had filled with water, air, and other resources in where creatures would need until the end of time. For ages, many life forms such as plants and animals had lived on it, each fulfilling its appointed role. God had also created angels and jinns who would praise God day and night. Then God created a race of humanoid creatures that had bodies and souls. They were called Nasnas. Some have said they are very similar to the Neanderthals. They could not fly and they needed food and drink to survive. They lived together with the jinn and together they worshipped God. As time passed, the Nasnas and a group of the jinn rebelled against God. They began spreading corruption and spilling innocent blood. Their rebellion reached such a height that they began to reject God as their Lord. God allowed them to live like this for hundreds of years until, out of his wisdom, he decided for them to be destroyed. He first assembled the angels to bear witness to the evil the jinn and the Nasnas had committed. Then God announced to them, I am appointing a deputy on the earth. God wished for this deputy to be a witness over his creatures and a proof against those who acted with corruption. The angels for hundreds of years had watched these creatures destroy the earth and rebel against its creator, while they themselves were worshipping happily and obeying orders. They couldn't understand why God had decided to create such a creature and be a deputy after all this corruption. So they asked, are you going to appoint somebody who causes corruption on the earth and sheds blood? While we praise you and we confess that you are far away from any deficiency and you are holy. God said to them, Indeed I know what you do not know. I intend to create this creature whose descendants will become prophets, messengers, righteous servants and guided imams. I shall make them my deputies on the earth. They will prevent them from doing wrong warn them of my punishment and guide them to obey me. I shall rid this world of the Nasnas and purify the earth of their presence. I shall create a veil between this new creature and the jinn, so that they do not see the jinn or mix with them anymore. God decided that he will make his deputy from the same material of the earth. He ordered his angel to gather some soil from the earth. The angel gathered white, red, brown and black soil of different nature. Some of it was rocky, soft, sweet and salty. Then he gathered different kinds of water, fresh, salty, bitter and putrid. From these varieties of soil and water, God would create a diversity of colours and nature in his new creature. God ordered one of his angels to mix the different types of soil and water together. When it was mixed, it formed a dark, foul, smelling clay. Then the angel kneaded the clay for 40 years until it turned sticky. He let this sticky clay cure for another 40 years. From this sticky clay, God shaped the hollow figure of a human being in perfect form. For 40 additional years, he let the figure dry and cure so that it would hold its shape. Eventually, it hardened into hollow clay. In this state, God's new creature was a lifeless statue. During this time, the angels would pass by the figure and wonder to themselves, For what have you been created? Among those that questioned was a jinn named Iblis, who earned a special place with the angels for his devotion to God. Jealousy ignited in his heart and he said, If God chooses this thing as a deputy and leader, I will rebel. Later on, God assembled all his angels along with Iblis and announced to them, when I make my special created spirits run through him, fall down prostrating before him. God said to the figure, Be, and he was. The figure took in the spirit of life and changed from a mere clay statue to the first human being of this kind. God named him Adam because he created him from Adim al-Ard, meaning clay from the surface of the earth.